Well, tell us about the the idea behind making a car like this, of this type, because I don't think anyone's ever got out of the Yesco attack and gone, I need more, exactly. more downforce, more power, more of everything, but... It, exactly, and it's it's that's very true, and it's not really about that. It's more that we see, oh, there is new tyre technology coming, okay. Mm -hmm. We're allowed to load the tyre harder than we used to, because we kind of build the car off of what are we allowed to load the tyre. So suddenly we were allowed to have a bit more downforce. Okay, can we do that? Yes, we can. Uh, can we do something else? Okay, well, let's tweak the brakes then. There are new brakes. Uh, let's tweak the suspension, the springs, the anti-roll bar. Of course, to get the more downforce to load the tires, we needed to do a lot of things. Details on the bodywork, front to rear, underside. Um, the, there is actually a little bit of a power upgrade because you can put a bit more power to the ground when you have a bit more downforce and a bit stickier tires. Mm -hmm. And the way we achieve that is mostly through aero to just force feed more air because into you've got the these two new air intakes exactly. on, the, on the rear deck there. And then you need, when you get more power, you need a bit more cooling. So this is bigger, which also gives more downforce and cooling, but also oil cooler in the middle there. Yeah. So it's all these kind of small things. Uh, and then, of course, the turbine aero wheels pulling air out from it. so this is actually correct me if i'm wrong a kind of reference to the agera which has what did you call them vortex wheels or, exactly or exactly yes yeah, but those were metal these are now hollow carbon fiber which exactly they were machine metal and that was a challenge in itself because each corner needs to be different because they are they are of course uh, angled different left and right and different size front and rear so four different wheels here it means four different air core tools four different tools to make the wheel and four different layups of carbon fibers. So it's like this huge undertaking for 30 cars. Your employees must love you. <laughs> <laughs> but it gives that little extra. Yeah, um, and, and this idea that they um, they kind of, they, they suck air from under the car, right? So yes. that has all sorts of It gives downforce, but it also cools the brakes. Yeah. And, and the cool thing, you can see if you drive on a dusty track, like on Gotland, where you have all this chalk in there, you've mm -hmm. been there, um, you see these 45 degree strakes going into the rim of the wheel. Yes, you can see the, the, the witness marks of the airs being sucked out. So it's yeah. pretty cool. Unfortunately, we're not at the Gotland ring today. 